I knew Erki's music for at least five years before I met Erki himself. Of course, I learned of his music through uh, Christian Yervi, and uh, uh, you know he did a number of great recordings. And um, then I finally met Erki Sven in 1999. I think one of his works was being done. We and we hit it off like that. Uh, he's a wonderful guy, a wonderful composer. So uh, he's one of my best friends, and I'm proud to say that. In fact, I'm going to be going to Hiuma with him tomorrow. Uh, hang out at his place. I've never been there before. He's invited me for years and now I finally get to do it. I orchestrated a piece of Edvard Tubin's for flute and piano and I orchestrated the piano part for uh, Marika Yerbi and uh, I think Christian did the world premiere on that one. So yeah, it's, um, I, think, I don't know whether he intended to write it for a string orchestra but he did write a piano and flute piece and I just orchestrated the uh, piano part for a string orchestra. and. Uh, uh, yeah, it was one of my highlights in orchestrating uh, Eduard Tubin. I found that through mainly through Christian and, uh, and of course, uh, Neyma Yervi has conducted and did wonderful recordings on the BIS record label of all of his symphonies. And I, that's how I found out about it. I think, uh, I think his fifth symphony is one of the greatest pieces ever written. I think number three is another one. Um, so I indirectly discovered Eduard Tubin through the Yervi family. And, uh, He's, of course, one of Estonia's greats. I wonder if I am the only one. I think I'm the only one that's been commissioned by all the um, Yerbi family, if I, by all three, by all three Yerbi conductors. I went to school with Christian Yerbi in, in the early 90s. We both went to Manhattan School of Music. And uh, that's how I met him. He and Gene Pritzker formed a chamber orchestra called Absolute Ensemble and uh, they invited me to be one of the composers at the time and then I eventually became the composer in residence and I've written a lot of my music um, for Christian and Absolute Ensemble. I just finished a piece now that's going to be performed in Korea uh, this October so I'm working with Christian all the time. So I wrote this piece called Streetscape for Pavel Yervi when he took over the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra. And uh, it was written, I think, in, over the summer in 2001. And unfortunately, 9-11 happened in 2001. But the piece still premiered about three, four days later in Cincinnati. So and the, the piece is, a, is about New York. The piece is about New York. And um, it was ironic that a, a terrible tragedy happened in New York. And, um, and the fact that uh, the piece was being done right after 9-11. It was a tough situation, and yet there was an affinity with the orchestra. I mean, there was something in the piece that everyone liked um, in the audience because of what happened with 9-11. There's some sweet lyrical sections, and the fact that it was about New York added to the atmosphere, despite the fact that 9-11 happened. So. But yeah, it was a tough time, but uh, it was also an interesting time too, and it was also one of the highlights of my career, writing that piece for Pablo and Cincinnati Sisters. I recently learned the Estonian National Anthem, and my hope, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna happen, it was just a silly idea. After, the, after our performance of, um, of, of my violin concerto, the, the hope is that uh, maybe at some after party, I could be the first American singer to do the Estonian National Anthem in Estonia. When I'm not a composer, I'm an opera singer, I'm a baritone. And I, I thought it was just a funny idea that I would be the first American singer to do it in Estonia. Very silly, whatever happens, happens. Otherwise, I'm having a great time here. Well, I, uh, I knew that this performance was happening, but um, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to afford to come here to check it out. And someone, someone suggested I should do an Indiegogo campaign in order to uh, raise money for my travel to come here. Um, at first, I didn't want to do it because it seemed kind of vain. You know, there are more important things to put your money into than that. But people around me said, what have you got to lose? So I did a campaign on Indiegogo to fund my trip over here to hear my European premiere of my violin concerto, which by the way was premiered by Constella Music Festival a year ago in Cincinnati. And um, uh, I, apparently it worked. I was able to fund enough money for me to travel here because flying from America to here is very expensive. And I just, I started this campaign and a lot of people donated and I made my goal and here I am and I'm, really thrilled. It also kind of helped promote me. I was able to, more people started to hear about my music when I put my campaign out there. Um, so extra people had discovered me through that. And so it, not, it kind of worked. Not only was I able to, not only was I able 
to get myself over here, but I was able to promote myself a little bit more as a composer.